Alright guys, we are in Cloister 20 of Via Infinito, and we're about to face up against the boss. So what I recommend you do is, as soon as you reach Cloister 20, you take the portal back. Back to the surface. And you save. Okay, now that our game is saved. Let's go take on the boss. And you want to uh, select continue from deepest of course to reached, right? Don't want to start all over again. <laughs> okay, so um, the boss here in 20 is not tough at all, uh, especially if you have leveled up a little bit. He does have a little bit of, like, tricky attacks, Mr. but... Kinoch. Yeah. So yeah, these guys start transforming to stuff, and this particular guy transformed to a giant enemy crab. Uh, again, not tough. Just gotta finish him up quick, and he can't really do anything. Come on, crab. Ah, 6,000 damage, cool. He's not even getting a turn. <laughs> Alright, I guess he didn't get a turn. I'm too strong for him. Yeah, he has an ability that puts stop on all your characters, which is annoying. But uh, that stop uh, wears off after a while, so if you do get hit by it, don't worry. As long as he can't kill you in that time, you're fine. The wandering unsent. You think there are more in here? Probably. Oh yeah, there are more. Uh, I think we should go home now. Let's ease their pain. <coughs> You're going? Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew it. Hmm. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Ah, let's pick up the sphere. Crimson Sphere 8, and let's watch it. You're all right. You're not mad. Mad. I kept you from dying. You can owe me one. Why did you follow us? I want to know what it was you all saw back there. Problem is, we don't know. We'll figure it out one of these days. Tell you then. Hmm. Well, the Maester's not going to be pleased when he finds out we're still alive. Moving as a group is too risky. Want to split up? That would be wise. Your work's done. Why are you still recording? <sighs> One for old times' sake. Here it comes, guys. Whoa! Backstabbing! Newt! I said your work's done. Dang. That's harsh. Alright. Let's move on down the Via Infinito. How do you guys pronounce it? I sometimes say infinito and sometimes say infinito. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, um, considering that the the dungeon in uh, Final Fantasy X was called Via Perifico, I want to say Via Infinito, but um, you never know sometimes with these pronunciations, unless they uh, outright say it in the game. It's just like um, the main character of Ten, right? For the longest time. I would believe that most people thought his name is Titus, right? I mean, it, it makes sense. Um, you, you buy the game, uh, the guy is uh, on the cover, on, um, on the cover of the game, and he's like standing in the water. He has this watery sword. He's like, oh, he's Titus, and then um, 
And then, like, five, ten years later, these games come out where they actually see, say his name, and he's like, oh my god, it's Titus. <laughs> what am I supposed to think now? <laughs> right? They don't, say, they don't say his name outright in, in either of the two games, 10 and 10 2, but they do say his name in, um, in the bonus audio included in the HD package here. So it's Titus there, and if you've played um, Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, uh, a Dissidia, the Dissidia games, then they also say his name. Meh. Alright, um, there are a couple of tricky cloisters going from here on. As you can see, um, if I keep on going forward in this path, I will fight, have to fight an Elder Drake. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want to fight that again. So um, you just walk back here. Not all the way back, sorry. Just, let me just quickly no take care of these guys. And there we go. All according to plan. And you want to come back around here. And step on this platform. That will raise the platform over the outer drake, and now you can jump through. Okay, um... There's not much more exciting things to happen between now and floor 40, so... Uh, I recommend fighting against all the enemies in this place. Because, as you can see there, some of them will oversaw. And, uh, it will save you a little bit of work later on when you're trying to say, uh, oversaw all the enemies, so... Don't escape from any battles, just... If you're, if you're really strong, like... Just hold down the X button and you can just like attack, attack everything in sight and end the battle reasonably quickly. Um, other than that, uh, the next boss is on floor 40, so I will see you guys there. Yeah, we are guys on Cloister 40 of Via Infinito. First things first, let's go save. Okay, Cloister 40. Um, the boss is challenging, but could also be very, very easy. So what we're going to do is take Pain here. We're going to put her as a Dark Knight and give her a bunch of um, attack increasing items or accessories. So what do we have? Let's quickly sort our accessories again. There we go. Ah... Raise attack. Oh, we got these Kaiser Knuckles here we can use. And what else? Mm, magic defense by 60, man. Anything else? Strength and defense by 10, that's it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess we can settle for... I don't need this because her strength is already almost maxed out. Let's just uh, up her defense. Why not? Defense is always good to have. Defense by 40. Although it's useless in this fight, but you know, it's fine. So let's save. And head back in there. So a reminder guys to not skip any cutscenes in this game. That includes the transformation sequences these guys go through to turn into the fiends. Um, even though it might not seem like much. Oh, it's um What's he called? It's Seymour's dad. Uh, uh I don't remember what he's called. <laughs> yeah, so this that includes these sequences. Don't skip them. They're worth percentage. So here we're fighting Dark Elemental or Black Elemental or rather. And just take your Dark Knights. And, okay, Berserk missed, good. Uh, and use Darkness on it. That's it. Okay, I didn't expect it to do that much damage, but... <laughs> it only has 10,000 HP, so 9999. One Darkness. If you can't kill him fast enough, he could be really, really troubled, because he starts casting things like Ultima, and... Ooh, it hurts. So, just take care of him really quickly, and you're good. Alright, open up this chest that he drops. We get Moon Bracer, that's Auto Shell. Uh, Shining Bracer, that's Auto Protect. Speed Bracer, which is Auto Haste, very good. And Recovery Bracer, Auto Regen, I believe. And a Catnip, which is um, SOS, Slow, Berserk, and um, 9999 damage per hit. 
Uh, catnip used to be really good in the original release here in North America, um, but uh, the international version had it nerfed. So back, back, way back then, um, on the original release, what catnip does is once your HP goes to yellow, then you will do 10,000 damage per hit no matter what. So <laughs> combine that with the gunner's trigger happy, obviously you have something. But now we get auto slow and auto, auto berserk, it's not as viable because now you can't control your characters while you're using um, while you're using your catnip. But we can still find ways to use it. Will, will I use it? Uh, I don't think so. There's a small chance I might, but uh, I don't I don't I don't think so. I'll just do everything the conventional method and um, see how far I can get without it. So um, advancing deeper into the into the cave. Uh, it's, it's at this point, I believe, where you'll start seeing um, mega tom berries, like these huge tom berries on the screen. You want to avoid them at all costs because they are even more deadly than Elder Drake. Now, I, I know I made Elder Drake look kind of like weak uh, when I was fighting it, but trust me, you do not want to come close to a mega tom berry. He will make Elder Drake look like nothing. So these small tom berries are fine because you know you have you have to fight them to um, to advance, but. Excuse me, but sometimes um, you'll find in, you'll run into a Megaton Berry. Never fight that thing. In fact, uh, sometimes you don't even want to fight a Tom Berry because it can attract other uh, Megaton Berries, and uh, it's it's only doing this one specific uh, cloister. But uh, yeah, my advice: save often because you never know when you're just gonna get ambushed by Megaton Berry and die. Right? There's an auto Drake over there, so we just do the same thing. Uh, yeah, so the next box is on 460, and I will see you guys there, I think. Okay, guys, we are on floor 60 of Via Infinito, and um, uh, I apologize, guys, but um, there's something that I forgot to do up in the surface, so... I am not going to tackle this boss just yet. Um, so first up, let's just save. Because why not? And second, I'm actually going to go board the airship. Don't worry um, if you want to go board the airship because uh, once you come back to Bevel, you'll always land right there at that safe sphere next to Via Infinito. You don't have to walk that long path again, you know. So, I actually want to touch something with a creature creator right now, and uh, I forgot to do this for the longest time, which is weird. Okay, so, um, if you go to creature history, this is the Machina Panzer that we caught in Chapter 4, and if you have this thing, then um, we can just release it right now, because, you know, we get fiend tail bonuses simply by completing chapters. So let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, so anyways, um, just a little bit of recap. What we did was, in Chapter 2, we caught a, something called Killer Wolf. In Chapter 3, we caught... Um, it's called like YSLS0 and in chapter 4, I believe it was chapter 4, we caught this Machina Panzer and by releasing all three of them we get we get something and there's a reason like I, I catch things. I don't, I, I mean if you feel like it you could do it like you can go ahead and catch every single capturable fiend and creature you want and that's cool too but for me, for our purposes, I'm just going to capture and release the fiends that are useful, right? Um, so the purpose of catching this Machina Panzer and releasing it is we get an accessory after this, so why not And We will see what accessory that is right after this cutscene. Um, I honestly I don't know how long this video has been running, so if it's a bit longer than usual, um, <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's not it's not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. 
Yeah, because I've been like stopping and starting and stopping, so I just. I don't know um, how long it is. But yeah, there are a couple of things we want to take care of in the creature creator right now before we move on um, to defeat the boss in floor 60. Obviously this is completely optional, no percentage added to the storyline whatsoever, nor does it disrupt it in any way. Um, but doing it now will save you a little bit of headache later on if you're trying to unlock all the tournaments inside the Fiend Arena. Long cutscene here. Make sure to not skip this one because I could easily press start right now and press square to skip, but don't do it. If you do it, you may actually miss out on the reward that it gives you at the end. I can see the future. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Aha, there's a ninja historian. Look at that. Only ninjas can climb towers like that. Oh, and glowing eyes too. But you already went. You can't just you can't just come back. <laughs> and that is an episode complete. Again, no percentage award for this <laughs> just to get that extremely clear okay so we get an adamantite accessory now normally you can only get one adamantite per game per save file like no matter how many new game pluses you play but this is our second one we can get and we can actually get more by finishing a certain tournament but other than that like i think two adamantites are, are good enough for our purposes so right now the only creatures we should have are a uh, chocobo and a cactuar so Let's look at our situation here in the Creature Creator. Um, bunch of SP pods, some medium pods, and um, a large pod. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go save. Now, for this next part, we're going to be needing a lot of large pods. And um, I'll show you guys how to get them, actually. So let's quickly save up. Okay. So, the first creature we want to capture is in Bevel. Bevel, and we want to drop a medium. This is a medium, so let's round up. Uh, Elder Drake, um, no, I don't want it. Nope, that's not what we're after. So, let's try it again. Well, medium, come on, give me something here. Mega Tomberry, you're a medium? <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Uh, well, we failed there. So, uh, 
that is the reason I saved. I am now going to reset um, the the thing you want to capture with a medium pod here in Bevel is remember remember that you can always press start and press triangle to quit. So yeah, you don't have to restart your PS3 or something. The thing we want to capture with a medium pod in Bevel right now is called a critical bug. It is called a critical bug. I know it's a weird name. Uh, so we can just like keep on resetting until we get it. Uh, <laughs> Love it. Love that. <laughs> Alright, so try this again. See if we can get a critical bug to appear here. Auto Drake again. No, not interested. Come on, come on. Insect Matriarch. Are you our critical bug? No, you are not. You sure look like him though. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, after a couple of resets, I have caught my critical bug. There it is, critical bug. I didn't show when I caught it, but Medium pods in Bevel, and there's only four possible things you can catch with a medium pod in Bevel. So it shouldn't take too many resets, especially if you have more medium pods than I do. So um, he's here, let's just leave him here for now. Next up. Now remember how I told you um, earlier that we need a lot of large trap pods right now. So, <coughs> excuse me. I, uh... Just went ahead and got a lot of large trap pods. Now, how you get large trap pods, you ask? Well, remember how we unlocked the Grand Cup Hard tournament and we beat that four times? Yeah, just go back to the Grand Cup Hard. Make sure that you have um, we have spaces for pods available, so you can carry eight pods in total. So just basically use up all your um, other pods on just random locations. And after that, uh, just don't keep anything that you capture, obviously. Just let them go. And then go fight the large cup hard. After every single round, as in, um, there are four rounds in each uh, large cup, no, grand cup hard tournament, right? So after each one of those four rounds, you will be awarded with one random pod. If it's anything ex other than large pod, just like, just say you don't need it. If it's a large pod, take it and repeat the process. You might, like, grind for a bit but that's fine and eventually though you will have the large pods you need so what do we want to use our large pods on you say let's go ahead and go back to Bevel and lay down a large pod so we will come up with uh, one of two things Azi Dahaka is one of them we want to take it And this is actually the reason I did not beat the boss on floor 60 <coughs> of uh, Via Infinito. Because if you do beat that boss, then you will be able to capture it. And I don't want to capture it. <laughs> so let's, um, after we catch one of the two large uh, creatures here in Bevel, we go there and lay down another large trap pod. And now this time, if my guess is correct, then we should come up with, that's right, Huge enemy crab. The one we fought on floor 20 of Via Infinito. So, let's recruit him and that's it. That's all the large creatures we can find right now in Bevel. As you descend further into Via Infinito, uh, you will unlock more creatures you can capture. But we don't need those guys, so... Let's uh, see what we can get next. Alright. Now, let's head over to the Thunder Plains. Same thing, let's use large trap pods. And the and the thing we're after here is the Machina Striker. Let's see if I can hit that thing. There we go, first shot. I think there's only like two different things you can capture in Thunder Plains with large pods, so uh, you should be able to get Machina Striker easy enough. And that's it. Okay, now is where we go and save. Or, um, I actually recommend this. After you have caught 
the specific creatures I told you right now to catch. So that would be uh, Azitahaka, what is it? Arania, Machina Striker. Yeah, that's the three things we just caught, right? Plus the critical bug from, um, yeah, and, and the critical bug. After those four things, I, rem I recommend that you fill up your large trap pod supply. Uh, so I have three right now, which is okay, but um, yeah, I guess I can work with three. But I'm actually going to really need to go save here. The next creature we want to attempt to catch is Jumbo Cactuar. And Jumbo Cactuar is actually not easy to capture. Uh, well, it's easy, but I mean, this whole like a lot of RNG involved. And um, you could catch a lot of other crap <laughs> while trying to look for it. So that's why you save, right? If you don't catch it within the large pause you have, then you reload. Well, let's see if I'm lucky enough to get it um, in the last remaining minutes of this video. Trap creature and the place where you find Jumbo Cactuar is the exact same place we found the normal Cactuar. So that would be Bikino. Bikino was it? Yeah, it was Bikino Desert. <laughs> uh, I somehow thought it was Jose, but it's not Jose. It's Bikino Desert. So lay down a large pod, round up, and um, remember what I said about creature creator long, long time ago. If you capture something and you take it in, then you will not see that same creature until you have caught every single other creature in that area. What this means is, if I were to keep this Elder Zervan right now, I will not see Elder Zervan again until I've caught everything else in the area, including Jumbo Cactuar. So I can actually keep it. And that will raise my chances of getting a Jumbo Cactuar. But you know what? I don't want it because if I take it, then I can't I can't release it un until I level it up. And I don't want to level it up. So, <laughs> Besides, we've already saved. Um, this makes getting a Jumbo Cactuar uh, difficult because there's a lot of large creatures here. So you can run to any of these, like look here. But uh, sooner or later, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. Of course, if you want to keep the creatures you catch, be my guest completely. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the plot in any way. No percentages whatsoever. Um, go ahead and keep it. And uh, just remember that you do need to level it up at least four times before you can release it. Um, I didn't I didn't get a uh, Jumbo Cactuar what I wanted, but it's fine. I can just reload. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough for this video. Oh, they gave me a small part. Okay. Yeah. If you completely run out of uh, pods, like what I did right there, um, they will automatically give you either a small or a medium pod. So, not that it matters, I'm going to load. So, as I was saying, I am going to end off this episode right now. And next time we come back, hopefully I would have caught a Jumbo Cactuar. Uh, yeah, thank you very much guys for watching this episode of Final Fantasy X-2. I will see you guys next time. Go!